Hi friends, in this video you are going to see how to use the SOLIDWORKS LOFT BOSS PIN FEATURE METHOD. Ok for that go to the top link and click on normal tool. Then go to the sketch command manager and uh, click on the center rectangular tool and draw a center rectangle on this top plane. Ok. Next make it isometric. Then exit the sketch and go to the features command manager and go to the reference geometry and select plane to create a reference plane for that the first reference as the top plane and uh, end of the distance between the top plane and the new plane as 100 just for an example okay click ok then select the plane 1 and click on normal 2 and draw the uh, center circle on it click ok Exit sketch and uh, make it isometric. Then go to the features command manager and select the lofted boss or base tool. In the profile section, you have to select the two profiles sketch profile sketch number one and sketch number two. And it will automatically see the preview of the guidelines, means sorry, the material addition and go to the property manager and select the thin feature from it click on the tick on the thin feature then you can see the one direction okay see it become a thin feature and you can add the thickness one direction you can flip it the direction inside outside okay one direction mid plane the mid plane section you have to see the main sketch line is this round center and the both sides you if you enter the values it will add equally on the both sides of that sketch okay uh, then uh, you can also see the two direction that means you can add different values or inside and outside of the sketch you can add different values Okay, I'm adding it differently and uh, this way you can apply the thin feature for of the loft boss boss or base feature in the SOLIDWORKS and click OK to make the model 3D model I hope you understand and uh, feel free to comment us about your doubts and thank you friends bye bye